What's going on, family? Welcome back to this Rush Movie Reviews. And, bro, I've been feeling very nostalgic lately. And I've been going back and seeing movies that uh, I missed, that I've been wanting to touch base with and wanting to review. And I went back to a, a, a oldie but a goodie, man. I think this movie was definitely, definitely underrated. And I think it, back in the day, it was actually panned by critics. When this movie came out, I was only 10 years old. Enjoyed it then, and definitely enjoy it now. This movie is called Metro from 1997, starring Eddie Murphy, uh, Michael Wincott, and Michael Rappaport. This film caught me by surprise, especially now. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna watch this movie. And boy, man, I enjoyed it, like always. You know, this, this, this to me was one of Murphy's um, uh, best films, you know? He gets a lot of slack because a lot of people looked at him as this funny guy, and then when he actually tried to venture off to doing things a little more serious, he had a lot of slack for it. Do not know why, because he's a very, very talented actor. You know, the 80s and 90s saw the the momentous rise of, you know, our beloved funny man, I think one of the funniest men of all time, Eddie Murphy, within the comedy genre, within the action comedy genre, and particularly the wisecracking copy shit, right? that was started back in the 80s with Tango and Cash, um, Lethal Weapon. Uh, 48 Hours to me kicked it all off. Um, you know, the Beverly Hills Cop trilogy uh, added to the snowball effect and then so it went, right? To me, his manic charisma uh, led to many starring roles, including the somewhat forgotten um, action in this film that we're about to talk about today, which is called Metro. You know, one that's notable because it, it shows the actor in just as many serious situations as comedic ones. And what's cool about this movie is he does have a lot of comedic ones in it also, but in a very serious tone. You know, there's a, a teeth on a sense of humor here, which I loved. Um, it gives you that gritty 90s feel kind of movie, which I love, you know, it encapsulates um, my life from back in the day, you know what I mean? I was born in the late 80s and, and grew up in the 90s, early 2000s. And, you know, this film, speaks to me in such a such a way you know what i mean and the other films that have been set to rome and then the word may back then um to me came off nothing like this this uh was one of those movies that you could pop in and see over and over and over again believe it or not without getting tired you know what i mean there's entire scenes where there's just non-stop antics non-stop action that just play out and are very enjoyable to watch here Eddie Murphy gets a few moments like that, and I, I loved it, you know what I mean? But even more, to get seriously angry and tough, most likely helped by the fact that he's up against one of those one of those most ruthless villains um, he's ever faced, you know? He uh, goes by the name of Scott Roper in this film. You know, he's a fast-talking, resourceful San Francisco hostage negotiator, which was very unique. He's not just your typical cop. Uh, who flexes both, you know, his brain and his, you know, weaponry. No, no, no. He actually has brawn, bronze as well, uh, in a tense, you know, operating, opening confrontation uh, kind of job. You know what I mean? It's his job to go in there and try to negotiate with these uh, robbers or villains or whatever it is to, to make sure they don't hurt hostages. And he's very successful at it. You know what I mean? And, you know, the movie starts off right into it. And that's what I like to see, you know? We see right off the back what an efficient uh, cop he is, you know what I mean? And he's just one of those guys that's, you know, having hard times with financially because he's a gambler. And, uh, you know, this movie definitely takes you along those um, aspects of his life. You know, he inhabits a, a world chock full of every necessary every necessary uh, genre element that you could think of. You know, he has a cracky police captain. He has a sexy girlfriend with a stunning British accent. And we all know Carmen Ojogo. She was young then, but she's still a phenomenal actress today. Still sexy too. <laughs> uh, Fresh out of the Academy, Ricky Partner, which is Michael Rappaport, who I feel is not given much to do in this film um, because, you know, you do have Eddie Murphy in this film, but He's actually a really good addition to this film. He does his role justice. Uh, let's just leave it at that. 
um, a recently deceased former partner. Um, he also has, which he tries to avenge his death throughout the, the movie. And then you have this psychotic uh, criminal, you know, in Michael Wincott. If you don't know Michael Wincott, he's been in many movies, especially The Crow. He was one of the, he was the main villain in that one as Top Dollar. And he makes uh, a truly despicable villain. You know what I mean? He's very vile. He's literally very absent. And he doesn't even show any shred of remorse. You know, he's just uh, killing his way through the city with Eddie Murphy on his trail. And what I like about this movie is they have certain elements where you can tell that it's a cat and mouse game in a, on a different level. You know what I mean? You see Murphy and Wickhart, they have this verbal duel, they have a physical duel. You know, there's a separation of prison glass that launches the scene into a stratosphere of intense profanity um, that you don't really see nowadays, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just one of those movies where, man, you, you watch it and you're like, wow. As cliche the plot might have been, or whatever the case might be, that to me the movie was perfectly choreographed when it comes to the scenes, the verbal scenes, when it comes to the fight scenes. I think this film had uh, one of the best, uh, one of the few best action scenes you're gonna see in a movie in general. Um, you know, I, I to me this movie back then I looked back and it received very lukewarm reviews. And for some reason, I I just still can't. I still don't understand. You know, Michael Wincock's performance was great, was fun, was evil. Uh, how can you not give that man an award for this film? You know what I mean? Uh, Eddie Murphy to me was awesome in this film. Um, I think he was even better in this film than he was in Beverly Hills Cop. And Beverly Hills Cop, um, you know, that franchise I think was one of the best franchises he was in. You know, I mean, including 48 Hours, including the Nutty Professor franchise, um, including the Dr. Little franchise, Dr. Doolittle, I'm sorry. Um, you know, but, you know, Eddie Murphy doesn't try to act serious. You know, I mean, he was serious in this role with a lot of dynamics of being funny. And in this movie, couldn't be too funny because he's actually a serious character. He's a detective in which he tries to carry it off really well. And he actually does. He succeeds in that way you know, want the revenge on his partner's death. He's led on this dangerous cat and mouse game with Michael Wincott, which is very entertaining throughout this film. And Michael Wincott doesn't let him win easily. I think that's one of the thrills of this movie. The main highlights of Metro, to me, that stand out the most were the thrilling car chase sequences, um, the explosive ending, the twists in this movie. Um, obviously, this is not the best film I've ever seen, but Wincott is immensely one of the best criminals I've ever seen on screen. You know what I mean? Displaying um, almost a never-ending desire to bring this cop down and then vice versa, even if it means both of them dying, which to me was awesome. You know, Metro overall is going to be a fast-paced, thrilling, and funny movie in, very, in, in various instances. You know, from start to finish, containing many um, startling and, 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 and cunning plots that may seem a little odd at first, but as you go through the film, you know, it starts to smooth out. So a very uh, satisfactory conclusion. Um, I can definitely understand why uh, it was a huge success at the box office and then deteriorated after a while. I do not know why, but um, this one was very, 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 dis dis not disappointing, enjoyable. And um, yeah, definitely go check this out. Um, I give this movie, man, I'm being, uh, not being facetious or anything like that, but this, to me, this movie is a 9 out of 10, personally. Uh, it doesn't get any better than Eddie Murphy uh, trying to track down a criminal and actually going through it. And then also with a di way different look. He has these dreads in this movie. Yeah, it was just pretty cool, man. Um, definitely go check this movie out if you can. Metro, uh, 1997. And, um, let me know what you thought when you do see it. If you do get to get a chance to find it. Alright. And if you like this review, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you guys very, very soon. Appreciate you for clicking. Peace.